Hey everybody, today we're gonna to talk about how your food can actually impact your deadlift, make your deadlift crappier, and even make your back hurt some more. So what we're talking about today is the food that you ingest, what is it doing to you? So if I eat fast food, really inflammatory oils, um, and I eat too much of it, what happens is I get a lot of bloating, I get a lot of gas, and I get a lot of inflammation in the gut, right? But the gut has, uh, oh man, what's his name? Fasano, I think it's the doctor's name. He has this great lecture called The Gut is Not Las Vegas, because what happens in the gut doesn't stay in the gut. Okay, so when I eat food and I get inflamed in the gut, it doesn't stay there. It starts to spread throughout my body and the joints are actually a really good receptors of those uh, immune inflammatory promoting molecules because the capsule of the joint actually holds them all in. Um, so if I'm eating things that my gut doesn't agree with, that means my body doesn't agree with them as well. And the way that I like to think about it, that seems to make sense in my head, I don't have any literature to support this, but if I eat something that's inflammatory, I'm going to sensitize those tissues. And they're not going to be very uh, sturdy against higher pressure. And that's what I need when I deadlift. I need to pressurize my abdomen to take the stress off my back. So I'm not just using my back to hold myself up. I'm using this pressure inside my abdomen. If my gut can't tolerate it, it's not going to let me do it. It's going to shut me down. And the way it shuts me down is it turns my abs off because those are what modulate the pressure the most. And specifically, what we notice is it shuts the lower abs off a lot because that's where it can really give way. And so you'll see people that look like they have this uh, lower belly, but might even have six pack abs, right? They have this little pooch down here. Uh, it almost looks like they're, you know, not <laughs> slightly pregnant, you know, <laughs> um, in their first trimester still, right? Um, that is simply oftentimes just the tension that you have in your lower abdominal. And that tension will go away if I'm inflamed in my gut. I know I'm speaking from experience. When I eat bad food, then uh, that inflammation gives way my pressure. And now it's hard for me to create pressure in my abdomen. So when I deadlift, all I feel is my back. I don't feel my hamstrings at all. I don't feel my heels in the ground at all. All I feel is my back, okay? I don't feel any abs securing me. All I feel is my back. So if that sounds like you, start paying attention to what you're eating, okay? Maybe you're eating something that your body's not agreeing with, is creating this inflammation, and it's letting go of these lower abdominals, and you're losing your hip position. Your hips will start to tilt forward like this. This is kind of where I want them at the top of a deadlift, and they start to tilt this way, even this way is probably a more accurate description. If that reminds you of any videos that you've seen of yourself, if you see yourself finish your deadlift like this, I'd be concerned that maybe you're not eating well enough and to foreshadow some of our next videos, maybe you're not sleeping well enough either. So pay attention to what you're eating. Make sure you take care of yourself. Nutrition doesn't only uh, give you the energy to do more good, it can also hinder you if you're if you're not supplying your body with the right nutrients and if you're giving yourself stuff that's kind of toxic to your cells. So take that for what it's worth. That's a hard change to make, but I, I would feel remiss if I didn't mention it.